Hi everyone, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. It's been... It's been a while since we've done one of these. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything at all to YouTube. And uh, we'll, we'll get into the details of that while well, we're up in the air. Today's flight is finally leg 12 of the bush trip. I think there's another four beyond this one. And uh, this one is going to be from Action AB to Missalonghi Airport. I think it's about a 100 kilometer journey. About 26 minutes indicated, so as always that will probably take me around about an hour and a half. But stay tuned to hear the epic tale, or not so epic tale, of where the hell I've been for, I don't know, like six months? Something like that? I'm not really sure. Anyway. Let's jump into the plane, set up the old uh, autopilot, and then get up into the air. Okay. So, uh, let's go for 2,000 feet. <laughs> Stop my heading out. Um. I'm going to do a flight level change climb. I'm going to let it take care of that for me. So I'm going to give it 75 knots. Uh, flight director on. It was already on. Uh, altitude 2000. Oh, hang on, where's that gone? I was going to turn flight director off, didn't I? It's, yeah, I'm going to be a bit rusty. I'm sorry about that. I think we're good to go, aren't we? Okay, handbrake off. Ooh, make sure flaps is up. Uh, where's my flappies? Go away. Flaps is up. Good, right. Let's go. Full power. straight and airspeed is alive and uh, yeah rotate there we go and straight into autopilot there we go just what to put to put Windy. Oh, I need some heading mode on. There we go. Got there in the end. HDR is on. Sorry, guys. Just having a with my screen. So for some reason the HDR is on on my monitor. Um, and it's making everything really dark. And I cannot remember what how I managed to turn it off in the first place. Oh I'm terrible. I am terrible at all this. Anyway, right, let's have a quick look at the old uh, the POIs. So, when you leave Action National Airport, make your way southeast over the low rolling hills towards the large freshwater lake Vulucaria, a few miles ahead. Can we see that now? I think that's probably uh, that one there. Continue southeast that way um, towards the opposite shore. Once you've reached the other side, look for a road to the east of the lake and follow it south. Track with the road as it leads you to the ancient city and modern town. Modern? Modern town of Palaroi. Palaoyos. Definitely the right way to pronounce that. Okay, so we're leveling off almost at 2,000 feet. Okay, nice ascent. Get rid of that for a second. I see a lot of roads things around us. 
very pretty over there. So that's the lake, because it sounds like we're going to be heading off over that way, I would imagine. Maybe we turn a little bit early. Um, I'm going to put it on 157 now. And then maybe... Maybe we'll catch back. Oh, oh dear, I've gone way too far. No, 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 wrong way. Wow. There we go. <laughs> oh, you can tell I haven't flown for a while. Well, actually I have flown for a while. Flown in a while. Um, I had to refly everything up to here because of, um, yeah, Microsoft Flight Simulator being pretty good. Wow, look at that. We're right on track. We turned perfectly. We're, we're slightly off. Anyway, I had to... I, so, what happened was, all those months ago when I did Bush Trip 11, I don't know if you remembered, but I had quite a few issues with like graphics, how the game was running, how my controls were working, and it all got really, really out of hand where I couldn't actually control any plane with any controller and I ended up having to return and replace my T16000M I tried the Logitech G Flight yoke as well and I even tried controller, mouse, keyboard, all, all kinds of things and none of it would work so I got really 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 annoyed with the sim and I deleted it which in hindsight was a really stupid idea um, but yeah, no, I deleted it and I walked away from it for a, a while. Um, ooh, let's down the power a bit. So yeah, I waited until a few patches came out and then I reinstalled it and managed to get a new T16000M, which now works, thankfully. I had to try it on about 20 different ports and update the firmware and clean it and do all kinds of things. But it seems to be working now. Also, I rely heavily on autopilot, so that helps because it kind of negates the problem with the with the controls. Um, yeah, and the game seems to run a bit better. I've also got a new graphics card, so as you'll see, we're now running at 1440p at a reasonably high frame rate. The frame rate does drop when I record, but um, no, it's running okay these days. I have been having a problem with the thread, the main thread being a limiting factor on my frame rates, but uh, yeah, more or less, we're okay now. So yeah, that's not the only reason that I've been gone. Why I haven't been making any YouTube videos at all, and why I've not even been streaming. Um, back in towards the end of summer last year, that's when all the sim problems started cropping up. I lost all my game saves on every sim that I had. Then my house started getting renovated and my sim sim room as it was became a storage room for what was meant to be a three week period but then turned into a four month period whilst the builders were in here being generally slow and painful um, so the only space I had in this room which I'm in now was just about enough to get around my chair and sit down at my desk and that's fine, yeah, I can still sit at a desk and I can still do it, but then also there's the other factor of that this is now my office for work because of, you know, the stuff that's going on in the world. Um, so my days turned into me sitting in this room all day long doing work, then at the end of work just really feeling like I don't didn't want to be in here. Uh, so I didn't. I stopped. I had to stop. I couldn't mentally handle sitting in here all day doing my work and then all day doing YouTube videos and or streaming uh, plus the house was a dusty mess everything was underneath something else like my rig that I had back then I had the, the place seat challenge that was under a, a, a mountain of boxes and it, yeah it was just it was time to take a time to take a little break so yeah I, I walked away from it from a little bit and um yeah, this is me attempting to come back a touch. I'm actually going to add a thousand feet into this. 
we're going to do it vertical speed. I'm really struggling to see what's going on down here with this HDR. There we go, 700, that's a bit much. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure how far we're going to go over the top of this. 3,000 might not be enough. We'll stick it to Ford, I think, just in case. Definitely something we don't want to fly into. Right, so how far over here are we going? Can you southeast towards the opposite shore? Once you reach the other side, look for a road to the east of the lake and follow it south. Track for the road as it leads to the ancient city and modern town of Palalarius. So I would assume, let's have a quick look out on the outside, see if we've got any roads. I don't see any roads out here. Excuse my bad navigation of buttons and things. Look at that, that's a pretty interesting... That's pretty cool. See, I, I always do this. I kind of get wrapped up in what's around me rather than looking for the POIs. Uh, so we're looking for a road going south. I, uh, I think I can see it. Anyway, jump back in the plane. And then we're going to be going... What direction? 155. And we're not changing... I'm guessing that's the town? Or is it that way? If you south from Palos at the end of the shoreline, your path will bring you towards a mountain on the coast. Skirt around the mountainside and head east to watch Brown for a jagged outcrop that juts into the ocean, home to the small coastal town and port of Mitikas. I think we can probably drop down, back down to 2,000 now. Take some power out. Um, going straight to 120. Sorry I'm not talking very much. Probably sick of me ranting on about building work. But anyway, the, the, it's kind of moot. They're all excuses as to why I wasn't making videos and why I wasn't streaming. Not particularly great ones. I mean, mental health is a very, very good one. But, you know, Beyond that, I guess, it's just a little bit of a combination of laziness as well. So, anyway, here I am back. And I'm, I'm not planning on making any promises about any kind of content that I will or won't be making. The only thing I will say is I will continue to try and be consistent and upload that, what I think, you know, the best that I can do. And I'll, I will try and improve over time. I and mean, that's all we can do is give it our best and then continue to, to try and make ourselves better, right? So, here we are. We're back in the plane. We're going to finish this bush trip. 
the very least we're going to finish this bush trip if they're popular then i will go on and do another one i know they've got an alaska one now we've got the the uh, i think it's nevada one and then there is the patagonia one but what i also might do is i might look into uh, sky park and just a general world tour maybe a world tour through sky park because it adds that little kind of element of missions why are we not oh i thought i said it to two and a half my bad there we go yeah because i want to go around the world all we've all we've really flown so far is the the lush green lands of the balkans and really we want to be seeing some other stuff flying some other planes as well i tried learning how to fly the uh the air the dreamliner i think it is the a320 it did not go well the microsoft flight simulator tutorials are oh they're they're yeah, not the best are they now not the best at all As you fly farther east along the shoreline, begin gaining altitude. The coast will soon curve southeast once more, taking you past two road junctions leading east. Follow you heading towards the small village of Vasilopoulou. I'm sorry, that's definitely not how you pronounce that. How much altitude do we need to gain? I'm going to go back up to five then. Five, two and a half thousand. Oh, wrong button. I've become so heavily reliant on this G1000 or 10,000, whatever it is, G1000, now that I really should go and do some hand flying. Because, <laughs> like, since I discovered how to sort of use it, to what I seem to do, if I got dropped into one of the planes now that didn't have this, I would be kind of stuffed. So, anyway, um,. There's been some upgrades to my PC. I mentioned I, met, I got a new graphics card, so we're running at 1440p now. Um, I've still got my Ryzen 3700X, but now we are running a RX 6000 GPU, which, to be honest, I'm really, really happy with. Um, I kind of, when I got it, had a bit of buyer's remorse around, oh, probably should have waited and got a, a 3080. Um, but it was kind of that moment of, oh my God, there's one available. Oh my God, it's in my basket. Oh my God, it's taken my payment. Oh my God, I bought it. it was, that was kind of, you know, the whole process of buying it. Um, but from what I've seen, I don't think there's a vast amount of difference between the 6800 and the 3080, especially in terms of the, the, the Sims that I play in. I think from what I've seen, there's maybe like a four or five frame difference between the 6800 and the 3080. I don't think in, in this sim particularly there's a massive difference between the 6800 and the 6800 XT. I could be wrong. Um, I probably am. But either way, this is a thousand times better than running the 1070 that I had before. Look, I mean, look at the, the... Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Freaking amazing. I'll get smoother with this eventually. We are way off course. Uh, da, 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 wrong way. It was 174, wasn't it? Something along those lines. We went miles past it. I was too busy faffing. Head south, make way over the bayside town of Astakos across the bay and along the eastern coastline. 
your path will eventually take you over a vast industrial port situated on a grassy, hilly outcropping. Ooh. I'm actually going to go a bit, a bit beyond. Catch back with our flight path. So we're going to head this way. Try and get the, try and get us back onto the flight plan, and then turn back. It's so, it's like, it almost looks like a desert from where we were outside the plane there. It's so arid, but I guess because it's, it's quite low, flat coastal land, maybe it just gets windswept. So anyway, I, I hope everyone's okay. Thank you for th the people that have subscribed whilst I've been away <laughs> and watching my videos. That's really really kind of you. Um, I guess a goal for this year would be to maybe get that number up. You know, if I could get a few more people on, on board, that'd be excellent. I also maybe want to come stream on YouTube a little bit. Twitch is fine, but I don't know, I'm, I just kind of feel that YouTube is maybe more my space. Also, I mean, if, if anybody's interested in a stream, whether it be this game or like Farm Sim or uh, racing games, truck sim, there will be 100%, I'm not making broken promises here, but there will be an American Truck Sim series coming the Euro Truck series coming, and I'm on the fence about doing a farm sim series. I'm thinking about having a look at Derailed Valley, and uh, what's the one with the cars where they smashed the cars up? <gasps> Beam NG, and and maybe getting back into racing. I don't know, man. I've gone so so far off of racing. It's so stressful. And the whole reason I started playing sim games is that not didn't really well. <laughs> he says. They tend to be less stressful. I mean, they tend to be more bloody complicated and go wrong more often, but they're less stressful and I find I found racing to be way too stressful. So, yeah. Probably going to stay away from those for the time being until, you know, maybe my, my mind might change later on. It changes all the time. But we'll see. Right, where are we going next? So we're heading for this... In the vast industrial port situated on a grassy, hilly outcrop. We drop down again. I think we're safe now from crashing into mountains. We get down a bit. Let's just see a bit more of what's going on down there. What we got over here. I'm using my mega zoom vision, which is um, obviously very realistic. It's a little island out here. You could wonder if these have got little holiday homes on them and stuff. No, just appear to have trees on them. I wonder if they flood it like high tide or something. Oh, we've gone missing our turnings again. So, where's this vast industrial thing then? Oh god, we're gonna smash into that if we go lower. Uh, up, 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 up. Up, up. Can't see what's going on. Minus a hundred. Zero. <laughs> oh dear. I'm so sorry about my bad flying. We'll just stay at 2,000. That seems fine. Seriously, where's this vast industrial thing on the hilly outcrop? I swear that was on the last, the last POI. Make your way to the bayside town, it's across the valley of the east coast, and your path will eventually take you up a vast industrial port situated on the grassy hilly outcropping. Where the hell was that then? 
Oh, is that what this is supposed to be? Guess what that, that's what that was supposed to be then. Oh dear. Exactly uh, as impressive as I was hoping for there, Light Sim. Right. From the industrial port, skirt southeast around the coast, when the ground flattens out, to tracts of farmland make your way inland, heading southeast across the fields. Join up with the Archelius River that flows farther south and follow it through to Katochi village at the foot of tree covered hills. Uh, I'm guessing that's this river that's flowing across here. And we're going to be heading, oh yeah, we're going to be following it that way. East of Katochi, you'll find another village on the other side of the river, Neochori. Look for a road running northeast through Neochori and follow it towards the small island of Itoliko in the strait nearby. Uh, and then we're going to be heading to the airport. So, let's see if we can see that village from here. You know, maybe that's it. But we're going to fly down to this river and then that way. I just feel like I just want to cut over that way now. Yeah, we'll see. I'm sure uh, we're all looking forward to seeing how my landing skills are after all this time away. <laughs> They're not good. <laughs> I'll tell you that for free. They're really not good. They've not improved, put it that way. Maybe they've got a little bit worse. Which was, you know, understandable uh, practice. But I, what I've started doing as well, I've actually started flying at like 6,000 feet. Because everything looks kind of cool from that, all that way up. So maybe we'll, we'll do some high high altitude flights soon um, but it just takes such a long time to get down and I've, it's, I always misjudge it it's, it seems to be my problem is it misjudge the amount of time it takes to come back down from that altitude I mean, you, you can get down from that altitude very quickly if you really want to but I'm trying to do it smooth yeah catches me out so I'm sure we're supposed to be turning in line with this river right you read that yeah. Wait. So I guess it flows that way, but we're heading east along it. Wait, north. <laughs> I know my north from my south and my west and my east. What are you talking about? Right, we're going to be turning soon, so I'm going to print that to now. I'm going to go now. Well, what's the, we're flying back on ourselves. Ooh, I was a little bit early, but I got it. It's about you just disconnecting with it completely. Look for a road running northeast through Neochuri and follow it towards the small island of Ticolo Lioko. Eito Liko. We need a road. I don't know how people navigate POR like this because you can't really see anything. If you were real life, if you, I guess you could tilt the plane. But we're, um, where's the plane gone? Oh, yeah. So, I guess we're following one of these roads, this road over here, that road, is that a road? Is that our airport? Hang on. Wait, where, where is, oh I see, it's there. Uh, find another village on the other side of the river. Hang on, is that a river? No, that's a lake. Isn't it? No, it's an estuary. I know stuff. Find another village on the other side of the river near Troy. Look for a road running northeast. S 
We follow it towards the small island of Tsukolo. Just we're heading as you pass Atikolo and Nico, aiming southeast over the large town of Missolonghi, past the town on the edge of the vast lagoon, where it's a concrete runway at the Missolonghi Airport. Is it there? Isn't it? I feel like we should be turning soon. I'm gonna start turning that way. Because I don't think we want to be flying over that. Be going that way now, pretty much. I'm turning, I don't care. I'm avoiding that hilly outcrop. Oh, look, <laughs> I'm late. Okay, so. Just heading to the southeast of the large town, past the town on the edge of the vast lagoon, where it's a concrete runway in Muslongi Airport. See, I suspect it's down here. But I can't make it out. Unless I'm being really blind. I feel like we're about to fly past it. I feel like we're also about to fly into that. Just to be safe. Yeah. Leave a comment when you see it. It's over here. Mountains. I always do this, I panic about where the landing is, but it, it, it will be in front of me eventually. And I shouldn't be heading up anymore. Let's Just your heading as you pass it. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 uh. I read that a thousand times. So, I think it's over here. That's my guess. Now, what we're going to do? We're going to drop back down to a thousand feet. And I realise I've been going up and down all over the blinking place. But I'm rusty. I'm also not a trained pilot. So it's a miracle we haven't crashed a thing. We'll get smoother over time. The more the more we fly, the better it'll it will get. And I'll keep doing a few lessons along the way. Some really helpful YouTubers out there that I've been watching. Um, learning a few things like Clumsy and, um, oh, let's have a look. I can't remember their names, that's terrible of me. I should have prepared that before I, before I started. So I think it's Pilot Emily. She's, she taught me some great stuff around uh, how to use the, the autopilot, the G1000. And there's another guy, um, it's an EasyJet Sim pilot, I think it is. Excellent YouTubers, go check them out. Really good uh, instructors as it were. I feel like I'm miles off course and, and missing the target massively. So I'm going to head this way. I think that is there. It should be here. 
It's there, look, there it is. There's our runway. So, in that case then, uh, autopilot off time. We do need to get back down. Yeah, that's runways over there. Okay, so we're going to go past the touch. What a bumpy drop this. I am going down a bit too heavily. That's a weird descent, that feels very odd. And we're gonna turn back in. go, straighten it out. Is it windy or something? Why is it? I think we're just dropping too hard. Definitely dropping too hard. Okay, we're going to turn in. Also coming in way too fast. too high. I'm going straight past. Ah, I'm gonna fly straight over. Way too high, way too fast. Just gonna do a little loop. Better than flying it straight into the ground. Plus now we can have a nice look over this water. Extend your time with my lovely dulcet tones. And this extra time will allow you to very quickly scroll down and hit the like and subscribe buttons, of course. Because we all know that that's the most important thing, is to hit the like and subscribe buttons. You don't have to, if you don't want to, I don't really care. <laughs> okay, let's turn. I think we may be turning a bit wide, I might be making life difficult for myself, but I don't really get. We're gonna get this plane down. As long as I can spot the uh, the landing again. Where is it? Where's the bloody runway gone? Right, there it is. Okay, so. Get ready for this landing, this is special. After this, ain't no one ever going to want to fly with me in real life. Oof. My oh, goodness. This is a short runway. I feel like I'm going to fall off the end of it. Oh my god. Way too high, way too fast. All the brakes. All the brakes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stop. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe we we didn't just explode off the end of the runway. That was that was risky, but we made it. And that twenty-six minute flight was for forty minutes. As always, we've done an excellent job of making it twice as long as it needs to be. But saying that, guys, I gotta go walk my dog. 
But thank you so much if you watched the video. Thank you if you subscribed and hit the like button. It means an awful lot to let me know that I'm doing something good that people are really enjoying. Hopefully it provides you a little escape. Come back later in the week where there will be another episode because I'm going to be recording it later tonight. Um, and as always, you know, take care, stay safe, be well, and I will see you next time. <laughs>